Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Network Bridge. So a bridge is an Ethernet like device, such as Ethernet access point, VLAN, that can be connected together via MAC bridge. So a bridge allow two separate networks to act as, as one, um, because they are connected via bridge, and usually bridges operate in a transparent mode. You won't be able to like run a trace root utility on it you won't see the bridge show up in that because you are transparent to the network so that allows um a host on one network to communicate seamlessly with a host on the next network without that host knowing that they are not on the same network so if you look at this diagram you will see where there are two separate networks computer three computer four are in one network and computer one and two is in a separate network so if computer one wants to connect to computer two it will do so just the same however if computer one um, needs to communicate with computer three it will do so just the same the thing is is that computer three will not know that um, the compute that computer one is not on the same physical network let us go into router os and i'll show you how to create uh, create some bridges and assign ports to those bridges so the first thing you need to do is click on bridge and currently there is a bridge the default bridge bridge one so what you're going to do is to add a bridge and call this bridge bridge two and also it is it is recommend that you comment you may comment on um, on your interfaces and so forth so it's much easier to identify so click ok all right so the next thing is to put your ports um, in this bridge so similarly to the diagram say for instance you are this is really port one and over here is another port and you want them to connect and operate as 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 on the same network so this is typically how we are going to do it but most of the time the the use case for something like this is usually to uh, maybe connect a wide area network or if you are running multiple DHCP server servers within your network and you want devices that are connected to a particular port to get um, a certain IP address from an IP address range you can actually create bridges to do that so in clicking on ports you see all all the interfaces are connected to the current bridge which is bridge one except um, Ethernet one so we look at interfaces we are see inter Ethernet one but Ethernet one is not connected because this is a one interface this is the one that is connected to uh, maybe your your modem to access to get to the internet so that interface will not be in the bridge so we are going to put port 4 and 5 in a bridge in bridge 2 so double click on port 4 and we're going to change uh, the bridge to bridge 2 um, we don't need to change any of these settings. Most of these settings um, will work perfectly as is. Then click apply. OK. And now we are seeing Ethernet 4 is in bridge 2. Next, we are going to change Ethernet 5 to bridge 2. OK, that. So now Ethernet 4 and 5 are currently working as a single connection. So, as I said, the use case for this is if you're having multiple DHCP servers, you could have one DHCP server running on bridge one. So all the clients that are connected to bridge one will get a particular IP address and all the clients that are connected to bridge two could get another um, set of IP addresses. So that is how you create network bridges. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos like this so thanks for watching